a daring, imaginative, dual-purpose project on a scale never before attempted in Australia. A project which was to win world acclaim, the Snowy Mountain Scheme. Around 100,000 people from more than 30 countries came together to work on the Snowy Scheme. Two-thirds were migrants who brought their skills, knowledge and experience to build one of the greatest engineering projects ever undertaken. The foundations of Australia's current modern engineering expertise evolved out of the Snowy. So the, the Snowy Scheme was a really interesting project for, for Australia as a country because the resources to deliver the Snowy Scheme didn't exist in the country, so it was the first international resourcing strategy really applied to Australia. It accumulated skills and experience from all over the world and really drew them together to go and do something that hadn't been done before. We imported uh, and they passed that expertise on to Australians who joined the scheme. In the scientific laboratories, geological details were studied, materials tested, and hydraulic models built to scale to assist in the design of projects. On the back of such a remarkable achievement, the Snowy experts took their skills abroad, providing technical assistance on Australian aid projects in developing countries. SMEC's technical expertise and its association with the Snowy project that counted a lot. We are absolutely um, having this uh, history of this or the connection I should say to the Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme um, was certainly um, something that opened doors to SMEC. To walk into an office, the UN, World Bank or other executing agencies with the SM, the Snowy Mountains, in your title counted for a lot. The recognition and association of the company with such a major project really set SMEC apart. SMEC built a reputation as an expert in roads, bridges, dams and hydropower, taking on significant projects across Africa and Asia. SMEC has developed an incredibly effective business model. Our competitors who bid for a job and then take the work back to their head offices, SMEC's approach was quite different. They established uh, subsidiaries in the country where the work was and recruited um, local staff working side by side with uh, SMEC engineers. The knowledge is transferred um, to the local person and they become engineers uh, able to develop projects in the future. So after a certain time, the local businesses are run by local people with our help. So that's why we always say local people, global experience. During the 1980s, new projects were undertaken in a further 20 countries, including China, Egypt, Ethiopia and Saudi Arabia. By 1991, SMEC was working in nearly 30 countries. When you've actually lived in one of these communities that's impacted, uh, you see the, the huge gains they get from very, very small investments. Working on these projects, you become incredibly involved um, with the people that you're working with, almost at a family level. SMEC engineers and their families working in that environment could hardly stand by and do nothing. They were naturally, as Australians do, I think, generally when working offshore, wanted to engage, wanted to be part of and recognised by local communities, not to be just doing their job. It's uh, great to produce a profit, but it's really important to make a really positive impact uh, in, in the world. And I think SMEC's got that uh, in its DNA now, which is fantastic. After decades of operating overseas, the story had come full circle. By the early 90s, SMEC had become a major private player in Australia, winning large projects and expanding its offices in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane. SMEC has always had a history of supporting innovation 
And I think uh, on that basis, it's always been supportive of, of individuals um, in going out and coming up with new ways of doing things for the business. We have a very caring culture and we want to support people through that change and we're open to continually learning how to do things better and differently as the organisation keeps evolving. SMEC has an amazing uh, culturally diverse workplace where it's hardwired into the fabric of the way in which we operate. October 2019 marks 70 years since our origins on the iconic Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme. Just like the brilliant minds that perfected many Australian engineering technologies and shared them around the world, our people continue to innovate today. And it's still that extraordinary spirit, resilience and drive that forms the backbone of our organisation. I think some of SMEC's greatest strengths today is the passion and professionalism that people across all roles and levels in the organisation bring to what it is that they do every day. It's almost a cliché that everybody says it's people, but it is true. Um, SMEC has wonderful people uh, and specialists that are unique in many ways. People genuinely care about each other. Uh, relationships are driven on trust. Uh, and it brings out a high performance approach to delivery and to clients. In 2016, SMEC joined the Sabana Duron Group, drawing on capabilities across a global network of specialist companies to expand our reach and enhance the solutions we offer our clients. I think the future for SMEC is a really exciting place. To, uh, fundamentally, that will be driven by more growth, more diversification, uh, and more exciting people to go and work with. Uh, and an even greater focus on our clients and getting fantastic outcomes on the projects that they're delivering.